I hope you are fine in, and in good condition. I am also fine and enjoying my life. So our mouth is basically a reflection of our body. Pupil and patients often ask a very important question. <coughs> Gingivitis, the gum disease which is common problem and with high prevalence rate is basically an inflammation of our gums which results in bleeding of the gums, sensitivity of the teeth and even lead to mobility of the teeth when it converts to periodontitis. So the main question related to today video is, is gingivitis a reversible condition or irreversible condition? So we will discuss in detail the reversibility of gingivitis. If you are new to channel, kindly like and subscribe the channel so that further information will be delivered to you. Gum disease, gingivitis, a very common problem in our oral cavity. The main cause of gingivitis is dental plaque, a soft layer of bacteria covering our dentition, our teeth and even covering the areas which are unable to reach or clean with the toothbrush. That is the interdental areas between our teeth. So the question is, is gingivitis a reversible condition or not? Fortunately, gingivitis is a reversible condition. The first stage, we can control it at home by vigorous toothbrushing dental flossing, interdental brushes and with water flosser. We can remove dental flock from each and every area of our teeth and which ultimately results in resolution of gingivitis. But sometimes dental plaque convert into tartar or dental calculus which is hard layer of bacteria on our teeth. In this case, we should visit our dentist to remove the hard deposits from our teeth surfaces with the help of ultrasonic scaler machine. These are specialized scaler machines which operate on the principle of ultrasonics. The tips are made of stainless steel and are harmless to the teeth surfaces. After Cleaning the hard deposit from the dentist, we must control dental plaque with the help of toothbrushing. Use a soft toothbrush in vertical direction twice a day before going to bed and before the breakfast. And use dental floss once a day or can use interdental brushes once a day or water flosser, water pick once a day for cleaning the interdental surfaces of our teeth. One important thing I must add in this, the cleaning of tongue is as important as cleaning of our teeth because bacterial load when on rise can cause bad breath from our oral cavity, tooth decay, gum diseases. So our main target is to control the bacterial level in our mouth with the help of toothbrush, dental floss, interdental brushes, water flosser and sometimes with the help of mouthwash for short term. So gingivitis, the start of gum disease is basically a response to the bacterial invasion when bacterial count rise in our mouth, bacteria attacks on our teeth, gums and tongue surfaces. When bacteria attack on our gingiva or gum tissues, the gums become inflamed. There will be redness in the color of the gingiva, profuse bleeding on brushing or eating some food or fruit like apple and bad breath from the mouth and food infection is very important point and very important aspect of the 
gingivitis the swollen gums provide a shelter for the bacteria which reside deeply into the gum tissue and progress or advance the disease process that ultimately result into periodontitis which is irreversible condition and results in mobility of the teeth so control the gingivitis in early and avoid it to convert into periodontitis hopefully this video will be informative to you if any question related to this video you can ask in the comment box thank you